Me, Brian Parkmore. Your boy Rick. Oh, Rick. Oh. We're going to go ahead and we're going to cover the Chupacabra. Like, it's like, you know, like in Latin American, it's reptilian, alien like. And in the U.S., it's dog like. Hmm. And stuff, which is pretty cool. But Chupacabra, you know, is also known as, aka, Bloodsucker. So it's kind of like a vampire. So let's go ahead and get more into it. They're known to drain the blood of livestock and domestic islands. I mean, animals. Through three or less holes. I know. I felt tired. <laughs> Some been reported the size of a small bear with a row of sharp spines or quills neck to the base of their tail. Three to four feet tall, hairless, greenish gray skin. You're killing me. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, buddy. When you, you, you got me cracking up, <laughs> I can't stop. <laughs> oh, I'm I don't mean nothing by it. You know that. That's a domestic island. It's a <laughs> domestic animals. <laughs> and then he said three holes, and I was like, I can't do it. <laughs> Three holes. That's yeah, what they suck with. Uh, okay. He said he's going to kill me, but I. I... <laughs> uh, 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 I'm about crying over here. Yeah. And Rick's all teary on now. <laughs> oh, my, you made my day, uh, man. You made my day. So, like, you know, you can see a vampire bite a neck of two holes. This says <laughs> sometimes has furry, you know, like free marks, like a triangle. It <laughs> yeah. sucks blood and stuff like that. <laughs> oh, it's an inside joke. It's funny as hell, this shit. Okay. Okay, Ricky, ready for this one? Yep. Can you fuck... <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, we're just going to keep it rolling. If we can... We, this is going to be our outtakes. Right. <laughs> Can you think of any other things that suck blood? I'm going to put, you know. Mosquitoes. <laughs> well, you got to. Uh, the G-Man. <laughs> Go ahead, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to say more, you know, like a giant tick. I guess it'd be, it'd be more like a vampire dog. Or whatever. Yeah. But it's actually interesting. Oh, definitely. Interesting. Because, you know, there's a lot of things that drain blood out of people and <clears throat> animals. Ticks are known for it. They can cause Lyme disease and all that. Yeah. And stuff. And mosquitoes. They love me. Mosquitoes. Love bed yeah. bugs. Yep. Bed bugs. Yep. I mean, there's all kinds of crap that sucks blood, so, see, it's chip cover, it's more, you know, it could be real. Mm-hmm. Okay, here's another one. Could the chupacabra be in reptilian alien with the spikes and quills and it has the, you know, yeah, the alien skin-like style? I'm saying, I'm saying yes. Well... Yeah, because um, now I don't know. I guess if you throw in shape shifting, yeah, you, easy. I I would agree with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess yeah. You know if that plays a part in it. You know I'm I'm not super familiar with. Well, you got to think. You got to think. Aliens and you know aliens. You know get cows and stuff like that. Why wouldn't they drain blood out of sheep and everything like that? Yeah. You know. So I'm saying, you know, like you, like you saying, I'm saying it's a possibility. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. Possibility of being a reptilian alien. <clears throat> yeah. But, you know, then you got to think the dog life's totally different too. the dog-like ones. Mm -hmm. That's in America itself. Do you believe in the chupacabra and stuff? I'm going to say, yeah, I do. I lean towards an alien or some sort of reptilian-like the dog, like, it can be a dog hybrid. Who knows? You know? Yep. 
That's what makes it so interesting. What do you think? Yep, I I agree. I uh, it it's been quite a quite a while back. I watched quite a few videos about it, and um, I got to the point where I was, you know, I was uh, at first I was on the fence, you know, and then I was like, oh, I after I did more what you call research, you know, just watching and looking stuff up and checking it out, I would say um, I would give it a yes for sure. Yeah, that's what I'm saying because it's interesting as hell and everything because, you know, I'd be reading it and everything, like all the information that I read about it and everything and stuff. It's it's just interesting. I just watch some of the videos on it with people that are outtakes on it and everything. Mm-hmm. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get this thing clear. Because you know there's a dog like one and there's a reptilian one. Yeah. I'm not familiar with the reptilian one, but the dog one I am. So which one would be your favorite? Oh man. Well, you know I'm a dog person. Well, and I'm a you know, alien person too. Yeah, that's the, the, that's tough, man. I I'd have to have one of each. <laughs> I I think the reptilian one looks sick, especially with the spikes on his back and yeah. everything. Yeah, you'll have to you'll have to uh, show me a picture. It, it kind of reminds you of like you know the second form of the gremlin. Oh, okay. You know the gremlin's like the second form where yeah, they have like yeah. the spikes on their back. Yeah. Makes you want to avoid. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. I think so. It's it's just so interesting, you know, because you know the greenish gray, you know, skin. They got the big claws on them. I'm I'm leaning towards the reptilian one's probably my favorite. Yeah. Because it just looks cool as hell, the pictures they got of it and everything. Okay, so why do you think the Latin and the U.S. chupacabras are different? Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and speak with this one. I'll help you out. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's with the climate, different climates. Just like, just like Bigfoot, you know, you got Bigfoot, you got the Ohio grass man. Yeah. You got the... What is it? The Bottle Snowman, freaking mm -hmm. the Yeti. Yeah, I can't think of the name right up. So they got the other ones over in other countries, different names. So maybe it's you know, maybe the reptilian is actually starts out with a dog form and goes through the other form. Who knows? It might be just because like you know, it's just different areas, different climate, mm -hmm. or they might be two different species altogether. It could be, yeah. And stuff. That's you know. That's what I was gonna say. It could be uh, like you just said. You know, two different species, without a doubt. Yeah. Well, you know, I agree. Could, or else it could be you know, hybrid, the dog could be a hybrid. Yeah. It could be reptilian and dog mix. Yeah. You know, like you got human hybrids with you know reptilians eyes or whatever. Mm -hmm. Maybe the. What do you guys think at home? You know. Definitely. Let us know for sure. And if you got. Uh, you know, uh, something, a story you want us to elaborate on, throw it at us. Yeah. All right, here we go. Why do you think no one has ever caught a chupacabra? You know, I've wondered about that because, like I said, it's been it's been a while now. I thought I thought I could be wrong that someone did kill one, but. I think it turned out to be uh, uh, a farce. It wasn't real. So, well, they got that one where they got that one in that museum where it's like a stuffed dog with like leather-like skin and stuff. Mm -hmm. But again, it could have been a dog with mange. Right. Yeah. I think yeah, actually yeah. they said that. Isn't that a video? Uh, I never heard about anything about mange or anything, but the look of it or whatever, you know. Not having the hair and the, you know, dog skin to be dry. Yeah. And stuff like that. Because I think I saw, I saw that too, I think. I'm not 100% sure. But I think the reason they've never been caught or whatever, they probably, they probably got brains like, you know, other creatures like Bigfoot and stuff. Yeah. You and know? They, and they could be also interdimensional, you know. Yeah. Shapeshift or whatever. Yeah. So. Alien. I know. mean, I know, you know, with, from experience, uh, Dogs are very smart. Well, here's another thing. That's like, like for example, Ohio, we got a bunch of coyotes. You might hear them, you know, making noise and everything. Mm -hmm. But it's rare to see them. 
Yeah. They're rare to even see. Like, you know, we hear them, you know, howling at night and sometimes once in a while. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I drive down country roads and everything. I've only seen probably one in my lifetime cross in front of me, across the road. And believe it or not, I think I've only seen one. Or don't they yip like? Don't they kind of yip? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And like our other video, you know, Bigfoot, you know, the calling sounds like a dry coyote. Mm-hmm. With like, you know, more of a monkey sound. Yeah. And stuff. Okay. Here's a good question I thought about. See, they said, you know, like one place, you know, over a hundred animals were killed, drained their blood were drained out these sheep, like over hundreds. Mm-hmm. You know? So, here's a good question for you. Do you think chupacabra could be a pack animal? I was going to say, I, uh, you know, what I know about it, you know, no, but, I mean, you know, you never know. I would have to say no. I, I don't know about the alien one, but, like, a lot of, like, canines and dogs, they'll, they'll go in packs. Oh, definitely, yeah. So, you know, maybe the American chupacabra could be a pack animal. Could be, yeah. But I'm thinking, you know, the reptilian, probably not. Right. Or else, you know, maybe they're draining blood for science experiments. Who knows? <laughs> Nowadays, yeah, who yeah. knows? That's for sure. That's not. But, yeah, with the chupacabra, there's so much interesting things about the chupacabra, you know. And I'm going to say, you know, I believe in the chupacabra. I think it's real. I don't know. Leave your comments down below and everything about it and everything. And remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And remember, hopefully you guys enjoy our videos. Keep exploring and peace out.